All right, y'all. I literally came hot off the heels of doing my music video reaction, but we gonna do this. Welcome to my channel. And today we're gonna be doing our album first listen to GOT7 Spinning Top. I'm gonna put the album cover over here somewhere because this is where my albums are not. This is where my shelf is not. So this side is pretty and this side is plain. So I'm gonna put it right here. <laughs> At first I wasn't gonna film this video because I was like, do I really have the time, the patience, and the, uh, like the motivation to film? Like I've had a lot of stuff going on with me mental health wise and stuff and you know family wise and it's just been like my family stuff has uh, like impacted me mental health wise and you know on top of a bunch of other things and I was just like do I have the strength to do this and I saw that there were only six songs and I was like you know what I'm just gonna have to do it because that's not a lot and it's okay so I'm just gonna film this little video and get it out to y'all as soon as I possibly can, which hopefully I can get it out tonight. Literally tonight, I wanna to get these two videos out. ASAP. Don't, don't play with me, phone. Um, the first song that we're gonna to listen to off the spinning top, Between Security and Insecurity EP, let's go, um, is gonna be degree, one degree, one degree. All right, but we talking Celsius, Fahrenheit, either way, this is kind of cold. Just just saying um but that's gonna be the first song on the album and i kind of just want to jump straight into it uh a lot of these songs were written by like written in collaboration with the other with the members of got seven and i'm just really proud i'm always proud because got seven is very active in how their music is and, and in their music and they're very adamant about doing things their own way and with their own style and i just really appreciate that i really do like I'm not saying it's hard to find idols that don't write their own songs because <laughs> BTS, uh, Seventeen, uh, so I believe Chanyeol participates in the music. Um, we all know God Seven does BAP, uh, even though they're not currently promoting as BAP. Uh, it's just like there's so many artists out there that do like produce their own music and do like write their own stuff but it takes so much time and effort and stuff like that and I remember reading in the Zello's interview I think it was Rolling Stone India and he was saying that while you're promoting as an idol it's really hard to take time to learn how to write and compose and produce songs and stuff and the fact that he said that and then we have all these artists who are doing this that makes me appreciate their work even more I already appreciate k-pop idols on another level because of how much work they put into becoming like tr just to become a trainee, just to last during training years and to actually debut and become successful because you have hundreds of groups debuting every fucking year and only what, three or four of them survive maybe? And it's just so kind of, it's kind of mind boggling how crazy the entertainment industry can be, not just in the US but in Korea. And that's just like, it's just so insane how hard it is to make it and how hard people have to work in order to make it specifically in k-pop and i appreciate k-pop so much because of that um but i'm kind of rambling right now i'm just proud of the members always taking part in making their music and stuff and contributing to their sound if that's my dad i'll be pissed because he keep coming in here and fucking like interrupting everything i'm filming so we're gonna get started on this first song is a one degree I like that intro. I got my got seven pins right here. <laughs> my mini Agadon and my actual Agadon. Use them open. Okay, 
to it um but i did like the song so i kind of want to just hear the song on its own so this is gonna we're gonna go ahead and play clips I 
I really want to see the performance of this. It sounds like it's gonna be so good with the performance. And I saw the choreography a little bit just bit for the choreography in the music video. And I feel like it's gonna be so much more dope than it was in the music video. That's the best part of the music video. This dubstep sound is like literally makes me want to get up and dance. Like this is so dope. Oh my Agabanga is so dusty because it's just sitting up there being all pretty. Yeah, I like Sam Pant. Just that part when they're putting their hands in their faces. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> That was funny. I'm so happy Jiggy because he's taking a ride in this song. Jiggy and JYP is me. Or JY Park the Asian Soul. Oh. So I do like this song a lot better. I definitely like this song better without the music video because the music video was just like you just have to watch my reaction I put it in a link in the YouTube card so just like go and click on it either in the middle of this video or after this video I prefer after or you can do you know pause this video and go to the other one also that's like that works too as long as you give this video a full view too like I don't really care but um I did like the song when I was watching the music video and I knew that I would like it more without the music video so I feel like I'm gonna like it even more watching the performance and seeing the choreography because like the song sounds good like it's so, made so well and I honestly have a strange love for this song as a title song like it sounds perfect for it's like when you hear it it sounds like something that would be the title song it, even without hearing the other songs like if I had heard like I like let me listen to the other songs of course but this sounds like something that deserves to be a title song on an album the next song is the end and I really should just have a list of the songs and who helped to uh, write them so let me just got seven spinning top there we go yes uh-huh Okay. All right. Track listing. Okay, yes. So One Degree was written by Yu Gyum. No wonder I like it because I really like Yu Gyum's um, work. But yeah, Eclipse was written by um, JYP, uh, JB, Mirabor, Dham, Munhan, and uh, whoever these people are. I don't care about all this extra. I mean, I can't say that with a full heart because I also care about their artistry and stuff and the effort that they put into these songs and stuff. Um, but I don't know who they are and you know that's just there's just like a certain level of care when it's somebody that you know or somebody you feel like you know you know like you're gonna get pr more proud and stuff like that like I definitely respect these artists for sure um but this is the song written by Jin Young my man Jin Young let's sit here hold on I know this is from Miracle and stuff like that but can we just sit him here since we're gonna listen to his song next is that creepy, y'all? I don't give a fuck. Man, he starts the song, too. Oof, he did good, didn't you? I should have had my plushie because of my plushie in the room. It just seems like a smoother sound. Like, I don't know, like, it has that pop sound, but it also has something that's very classy about it. I'm 
because we do. We do for sure. Oh, I stand. Like I said, my hand started bothering me. For some reason, my hand really hurts. And I don't think it's like early set off or it is or anything like that. Maybe it's carpal tunnel because I work with my hands a lot and I open and close a lot of things. I do makeup a lot and stuff. There's a lot of little intricate things I do. My hand's really bothering me. So if it seemed like at the end of that song, I wasn't as into it. It's literally because a pain just shot through my freaking hand and it just hurts so fucking badly. Oh my God. The next song we're gonna listen to is Time Out and Time Out was written by Young Jae, No Day, and Versa Choi. I don't know who Versa Choi is but No Day I've seen on multiple uh, GOT7 tracks and actually I think this person writes for multiple artists. They've written for VIX, VAP, uh, many groups, EXO I believe also. I have no clue actually but I remember seeing their Instagram and it had a list of all the groups they have written for and so I'm familiar with who this is. Um, so we're gonna listen to Time Out. You know, I can't say that I just like one member songs more than anybody else's things. <laughs> um, but Young Jay writes really good songs and I really, I, I don't know what it is, but like maybe it's just because I have a level of connection with these three members or something like that. But I really, really like JB songs, Jin Young songs, and Young Jay songs. But like I said, I like Yu Gim songs too. Like one of my favorite songs from their present um present you album was a Yu Gim song and Jin Young song and stuff and it's like you just get so much versatility with these artists and like this it's amazing that they can put their own spin their own twist on their albums and it's just so amazing to see what they all come up with like something we talked about when just two came out with focus on me was that jb is in both jj project and just two but it's amazing how different of sounds JJ Project has from Just Two and how different those subunits have from Got Seven and it's just like there's so much versatility in Got Seven, so much different styles within the members of Got Seven and the music that they write that they're able to do all these different things and just it'd be so mind blowingly amazing 
like honestly I just have high I just like I'm really impressed with the members of GOT7 and I'm just I have a high level of respect for them as well but we're gonna go ahead and get into Time Out written by Youngjae and let's go okay this sounds like the beginning of Rugrats Your sinful thoughts away from Young Jay's music. I swear to God, I'm gonna punch myself. All right, so the next song is gonna be called Believe, and it's written by uh, Bam Bam. Um, Bam Bam in France, and it says something about Tommy Park, but I don't know who that is. And that's written and in France, like DJ France. I don't, I don't understand. Anyways, it's called Believe, and Bam Bam wrote, was a part of writing it. So we're gonna go ahead and listen, cause Bam Bam writes some dope ass songs. Bam Bam be lit, like I love it. If this song ain't lit, I'm gonna be high key disappointed. Not gonna lie, no, that's not true. Well, that song with him most English. Well, that's not even his first language, but we stand bam. We stand bam bam. Hey! 
<laughs> it's not as lit in the way that I thought it was gonna be, but it's like, hey, 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 hey. If this is supposed to be a sexy song, please tell me it's not. If somebody ever says Korean and says that this is a sexy song, I'm gonna be really mad. This kid is a 97 liner. I was 194. Please calm down. I need to get a new battery. I just need to do it. I don't know why I haven't invested in one yet. But either way, I gotta go on to the next song and it's Paige and it's written by JB and who else? Uh, JB, Joe Malone, uh, who JB writes songs with a lot. Um, IHOC and Royal Dive. I've heard of Royal Dive. I've never heard of um, IHOC or anything like that. But um, yeah, um, let's just go ahead and get into it because I can't just like... I can't, I can't waste any more time, y'all. I can't waste any more time. Let's go. I have high hopes, though, because it's a JB um, written song. Oh, I'm still holding this song in my right hand. I'm gonna be right-handed. DJ, are you kidding me? I am doing a thing. You're still video. I'm doing another video from the one that I was doing before. I filmed two videos already and filming a third right now. Let me call you back though. Your first, because I need to! I don't know why you need to. Okay, well let me call you back. Amina, why? stop screaming. Amina, what are you doing in the background? Amina. Hey, back at you, kid. Oh, I like her top. Oh, is that Timon? Yeah. Anyways, let me call you back. Okay, bye. Just, hold on, we're gonna start it over because my sister's an asshole. She, she didn't know any better. I just like, I owe JB better than just that. I need to scream it in the background. Jamie knew exactly what he was doing starting the song off like that. I just like songs 
with Davy Rice. Davy like so good. I already knew I was gonna like this song. Just a little bit more lit than I expected. Not as soft as I was expecting, but more lit. All right, Davy, got versatility though. That they would promote this song with uh, a flip. Come on, come here, come to mommy. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I've told Jordan to come here, but you can come here with Coco. My Coco. You mean that? You know, the long ass man. He's never gonna cut me. Hey, mom, kiss. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you love me? I'm sorry, I love being young. that is in got seven and I think from hearing all those songs I love doing listening to their songs that they've written and stuff because it just makes me feel like we've got so much talent in this one group and it's just so crazy like I just can't I can't think of anybody not standing them like looking over them ever like they're just so fucking talented and they're so they're just amazing people and I'm just so excited to see them and I'm really excited that I get to hear these songs live. I liked every single song on this album. I don't know if I can pick an absolute favorite song on this album. Like, they were all really, really good and I was, like I said, I'm highly impressed. Um, but I do tend to always flock towards a song. I do tend to pick a favorite in all my first album listens. Um, geez though, I don't know, I don't know if I can pick a favorite in this one. Like, it's just really difficult. Like, I liked all of these songs. They were all so good. Oh. You know, I'm gonna actually, I'm, I don't want people to think I'm just being biased or anything like that. Because I'm not, I really am not. It's just this, this, all these songs were so good. And I have, if I have to pick a favorite, I'm gonna go with The End. Or Eclipse. Just putting that out there. And this isn't because that one song was better than the other or one song was worse than any other. It's just like uh, songs that I vibe with the most on this album. And I really liked all of these songs. Like this album, this EP I should say, is really good. And like I said, I'm very proud. I was excited listening to it. I was bummed to it and it's like, it felt like this is something I'm gonna be listening to tomorrow at work. And I honestly love listening to Gossip while I'm at work because I just feel happy and second of all I'm super hyped to be going to see them in person. Um, but uh, it's just like those are songs that I kind of just felt vibe more vibe with, like I vibed with more. And so I'm just gonna go, I can't pick out of those two. You can't, you can't make me feel an, pick an absolute favorite between Eclipse and The End. I just cannot. 
but I really like those songs like from the instrumental of the end you guys know I was really vibing with that instrumental but Eclipse was like something that I love like fast paced upbeat songs even if the, the, the concept of the song isn't supposed to be something that's upbeat but I like that something that's going to keep me moving and I feel like Eclipse is that song. Paige is very much like that as well but I'm just like I don't know, I just vibe with those songs a lot better and I have no better way of explaining it. Like, if I don't think I have a personal favorite, but if I had to pick a song that I liked more, which is still very much impossible when you put it into those terms, I just like, like I said, I just vibe with the end any clips better. Alright guys, I really have to cut this video because the battery is dying again and I just like, as it is, I filmed three videos today and I'm very proud of myself, but I gotta go. I'm tired. I wanna change. I wanna get this wig off and I just want to go I just want to shower because I had work this morning uh, there's just so much things I had to do before I got too comfortable and stuff and I know I'm dressed in comfortable clothes I'm wearing a sports bra and leggings and stuff but um I just wanted to do it all before I got ugly again and <laughs> I wanted to give you guys these videos because I, it's a promise that I made to myself to put out these videos um you know I've been having a really hard time with my productivity and my lack of motivation um, due to my mental health and I'm just very proud of myself for even sitting down to film these things because that in itself is very difficult for me at this moment and sometimes um, but we did it and we're here and I'm very much appreciative of everybody who subscribed to my channel stay subscribed to my channel despite when I have my last my lapse in creativity and um, content output um, I love you and appreciate you all and I just want you all to know that if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it deuces i don't really gotta tolerate any of that that's your problem not mine y'all came in you watched the whole ass video and you didn't like it like come on now you spent all this time it's a it's a whole album that's six songs 21 minutes you sat here for 21 plus minutes and you didn't leave the video already that's your problem not mine thank you for the view though don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i shall see you all in the next video whenever that may be hopefully i can get a little bit more consistent I'm hoping for it and I'm actually pushing for it and I really am so thankful to you guys for like tolerating me and also just like not just just being so patient with me. I really do appreciate you guys and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!